Go ahead, eat a cookie for breakfast. Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa, weekend treats edition, where I bring you yummy treats to get you through your week. And today, I'm gonna share with you three ways to make oats. We're gonna make almond butter fruit and oat cookies, creamsicle overnight blended oats, and cocoa banana baked oats. It's lunch with Lisa. I don't know about you, but I love oatmeal. It is like one of the most wholesome things to eat and it fills me up. So I really like to include it in my diet. So I wanna share with you three different ways to make oats just to wake up your ho-hum oat routine. For our first recipe, we're gonna make almond butter fruit and oat cookies. Mom would definitely approve of the wholesome ingredients like applesauce, nut butter, whole wheat flour, eggs, and dried fruit. You'll appreciate the high fiber morsels power to keep you full until lunch. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then line a large cookie sheet with parchment paper and set that aside. In a medium bowl, stir together three quarters of a cup of applesauce and a half a cup of almond butter or you could use peanut butter. Then dump in three cups of regular rolled oats. In another bowl, mix together two eggs and a quarter of a cup of molasses. Then add that to your oats and stir it together. Next, you're going to add a half of a cup of whole wheat flour, a quarter of a cup of toasted wheat germ, one and a half teaspoons ground cinnamon, half teaspoon ground allspice, and mix that thoroughly together. You could dump this in a mixer or you can just mix it by hand. Stir until combined. Add in a half of a cup of snipped dried apricots and a half a cup of sweetened dried cranberries or you could use golden raisins. Now fold that in, stir it till it's combined. Let this stand for 10 minutes. Your dough should be thick. After 10 minutes, you're going to scoop 12 mounds of dough, about a quarter of a cup each, then place three inches apart on your prepared baking sheet. Then flatten each mound to a three inch round. Bake until the surface of the cookies is dry and the edges are set, about 12 to 15 minutes. Then you're going to cool on your cookie sheet for about five minutes and remove to a wire rack. To store the cookies, layer between sheets of wax paper in an airtight container. Store in the refrigerator for up to three days or freeze for up to one month. This makes 12 cookies at 231 calories per cookie with nine grams of fat, 35 grams of carbs, and seven grams of protein. And I will tell you, they taste so much like molasses. They're pretty good. They're hefty. Mm-hmm. Definitely try this cookie. For our next recipe, we're gonna make creamsicle overnight blended oats. These oats you get to make ahead of time and they're easily adaptable. If you eat a vegan diet, you can swap out the ingredients for vegan ingredients. Just select a nut or an oat milk, a vegan yogurt, and use maple syrup instead of honey. You can also change the flavor by swapping out the fruit for your favorite fruit and a complimentary juice. Or you can just add more milk. In a single serve blender container or a pint jar, combine three quarters of a cup of regular rolled oats, half a cup of orange juice, fresh squeezed is best, a third of a cup of milk, nut milk or oat milk, one tablespoon freshly ground flaxseed, one tablespoon honey, about five ounces of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, or if you find orange flavored yogurt, use that. Or you can just use regular yogurt. I zested an orange to add to my yogurt and added a little bit of vanilla just to flavor it up. Now cover this and chill overnight. If you're using a pine jar, transfer that to a blender or you can transfer it to a larger container for an immersion blender. That's what I did. Then blend until smooth. You want it to be kind of the consistency of cake batter. And if you like at the end, you can top with orange slices and drizzle with additional honey. This can serve one or two people. This whole pint comes out to be 555 calories, nine grams of fat, 99 grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein. So you can see why you might wanna split this up into two servings. I didn't let this sit overnight, but as you let it sit, it should thicken up. This isn't very thick, just for time's sake. Mm. It's so good. Tastes like orangey deliciousness. You might wanna add just a little bit more sweetener to this, to sweeten it up. Mm. Or if you don't want it that sweet, it tastes so good. The more you let this sit, the more orangey and flavorful it's gonna become. This is such a fresh new way to eat oats. I've never had this before. It tastes so good. Definitely recommend. Throw in some orange slices. <laughs> For the next recipe we're gonna make, cocoa banana baked oats. 
In a 16 ounce microwave safe bowl or mug, you're going to add two thirds of a cup of regular rolled oats, one tablespoon unsweetened cocoa powder, a half a cup of milk, oat milk or nut milk, one egg, one tablespoon peanut butter or cashew butter, one to two tablespoons honey, and stir that together with a fork. Then add a third of a cup of chopped banana and gently stir that in. You're gonna microwave this until all the edges are set and the center is done. It's about two and a half to three minutes in the microwave. Then let it stand for at least five minutes before eating. And if you like, you can drizzle this with additional nut butter and top with banana, peanuts, and or berries. This serves one to two people. You could also make this a day ahead of time and just pop it in the fridge. And then in the morning when you're ready to eat it, just pop it in the microwave. This comes out to be 560 calories with 20 grams of fat, 77 grams of carbs, and 22 grams of protein. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. Can't go wrong with chocolate and peanut butter. Mm. And banana. Oh yeah, you guys. Definitely try this out. Oh. If you like what you see and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you want to help support me, there's a few ways you can do it. You can shop below at any of my affiliate links and I might receive a small commission. Or you could join me over on Patreon and become a patron and join a group of all these lovely people. Thank you. Patreon.com slash lunchwithlisa. And it's always free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. It's lunch with like all together <laughs> not good don't mix it Blech.